Hi everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch today. I hope you enjoy what I have to share. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And thank you so, so much for joining me today. I have a little fall DIY. In fact, I have four little fall DIYs that are so super simple that anybody can do them. You don't have to be a crafter and you only need a few supplies. And uh, most of them can be found at either Dollar Tree or Dollarama or your local dollar store, whatever that might be. So I hope you enjoy them and let's just jump right into it, shall we? So I'm making a little vase here and I'm just using a salsa jar that I emptied out the other day in the kitchen. So I just kept it and I'm giving it two coats of this chalk paint. I can't remember the name of this, but it's a kind of a putty color. It's like an off white, but it has a green undertone. And yeah, so as best I can describe it is a putty color. So two coats of this paint on this jar gave it way more coverage than it needed. One coat probably would have done it, but I gave it an extra coat just, just in case. And I'm not distressing it or anything, but I'm going to add this little key tag. And it's one of those little wooden circle pieces with a key ring attached that you get in a package at Dollar Tree. I'm coloring it orange with my Tombow marker. I figured why get orange paint out for something this small. So yeah, I just give it a good couple coats with this Tombow marker and it, it actually looked really, really good. It goes well with the flowers that I'm choosing. And the flowers are from last year. I'm in quarantine again. And with all this traveling back and forth, they keep putting me back in quarantine. So I can't get out for supplies again. So I'm using up some of last year's stock and I have some twine the twine that I did haul just recently from Dollar Tree and it's the one that came in the jar with the little uh, it has the lid with the little hole in the top to pull the twine through so it's a nice thin jute twine but it works great for wrapping around the tops of these jars and things when you're decorating them I'm just putting the word fall on this little key fob and then I'm going to take it and hang it from the string and tie a bow and then this little piece will be ready for the flowers so yeah like I said last year's flowers and I have a little trick for putting flowers in I don't have any um, floral foam to put in the bottom of this jar so I decided I didn't want the, the flowers falling back out. Of course, they're top heavy. So use your hot glue gun if you ever come across that situation. Use your hot glue, glue gun and just put a dot of glue on the rim of your glass, um, on the, the vase or glass or whatever you're using to put your flowers in. Put a little dab of hot glue on it and it'll stick right onto the side of the um, of the vase and it won't tumble out of there being top heavy the flowers always fall out if you don't have something to anchor them but this little trick works so just a teeny tiny little dab of hot glue is enough to keep these from falling out so I'm trying to arrange these in a nice triangle because I only have the three of these and then I have some little floral picks with pumpkins and berries that I'm going to stick right down through the middle at the top to give it some height. I'm sticking those tall ones in the middle and the other flowers hold these in so I don't have to do anything else and that's it. This one's ready. So this is a little piece I can't remember if I got it from Dollarama or Dollar Tree. It was last year as well. And I took the little bell off the bottom and the chain off the top. This is just meant for hanging in your garden from one of those hooks. The little flower came off the front. It was so easy. Just unbend the little wires at the back and 
pull it off and then you can shove it through the same little holes when you're done and replace it back on there. So I don't like the color of this at all. I want it to be way more neutral than that silver and green. So I am painting the whole thing with this putty colored chalk paint. I do love this color. I've used it for so many things and this jar has just lasted forever and ever. It's, um, I, you know, I can't even remember when I bought it now. But it's, it's such a pretty neutral. So I gave that a coat of paint and my paintbrush is getting pretty gunked up here so I'm going to go give it a good wash. And I'm going to take this little flower and paint the petals out as well. I don't want to paint the center because that's where I'm going to put my hot glue. And I don't want the glue to pop off. So I'm going to leave the center and I'm just going to paint all the petals out. I dry brushed a little over the leaves of this too. But then I didn't like it so I went back. I just took a rag later and... Uh, took some of the paint back off the leaves so it just stayed in the little creases and my little ladybug was bent a little bit so I had to fix it so I'm gonna give this another coat because it didn't one coat didn't cover it as much as I thought it would the green is really dark and then the shiny metal underneath didn't have anything on it so two coats was good for this. And once that's dry, I'm going to reattach that flower, but I'm going to make a little bit of a change to it first. So I have a um, I have this little welcome, and this is one of those tiny little words that I hauled from Dollar Tree in my Dollar Tree haul. These are packages, there's, I, I can't remember how many is in a package, but they're these little tiny words, and this one says welcome, and I just thought it was cute to put along the ridge of, or the roof line of the house. And I'm going to take this sunflower, I'm going to cut the whole stem off the back so that it's flush. And then I'm going to glue it on the front of that tin flower. So I'm going to replace that tin one with this pretty sunflower. So some hot glue. I put quite a bit on there because I did want this to stick. But if you put hot glue on tin, be careful because the tin gets hot and you can burn your fingers. I didn't, but I could really feel it. I could feel the heat. So I'm just making sure it's centered on there nicely. And I'm bending the ladybug back over to the top. And there we have that cute little ladybug now on a sunflower. And I'm going to put the whole thing back together. So I was just showing you here that that's all it took to attach this. It just pokes right back through the holes and you bend the wires down. That's how easy it was. And then I'm just going to put a little hot glue here, add the welcome to the roof line. And look how cute that is. Isn't that nicer than that tin? Yeah, it's just, just a little bit of adjustment and these pieces look awesome. So this next one is not even really a DIY. I'm hot gluing some floral foam into the bottom of these little Ray Dunn pots. Now you could get little pots like this at the Dollar Tree or you could get the little um, pails and paint them. 
uh, and, and get the exact same look as this. So yeah, I'm turning the upside down to dry so I don't get hot glue on my table. And then I am just putting four little pieces of florals. I cut these picks from Dollar Tree apart and cut down the stems so that they would fit because these are only little four inch pots. Now, the, the florals are gorgeous. These sunflowers from Dollar Tree with the two-tone orange and yellow are absolutely gorgeous. And they're going to be a perfect little fall touch in a windowsill that's right at the bottom of my staircase. I just like to keep something. I, I like to keep a little floral um, in these little flower pots in that windowsill because it's just such a cute little focal point there. And this is going to add such a nice little bit of color. Just look. So here they are in my windowsill. They're just the perfect size. It's just a little window. Perfect size little pots. And I love this little touch of fall right here. So for this one, I have this little, it's almost a shadow box uh, frame from Dollar Tree. It's green by uh, green briar, so I know it's Dollar Tree, and you should be able to find this there. Now this is only three and a half by five inches, so I've taken it all apart, and I am going to replace that white matte frame in there with the fall colored one. So the easiest way I know to cut out a frame is to use a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife. I got both of these at Dollar Tree. I am going to miss Dollar Tree so much. So it's just so much easier to cut out this way than it is to try to use scissors for this. There's no way I'd cut these out with scissors and, and uh, end up with a square in the middle. It just wouldn't happen. Not with me. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to put this all back together now because I have to figure out where I'm going to put my stickers. This is the piece that I'm going to put in the, the back. So I'm figuring out where it goes, and then I'm going to stick it down to that little frame. That's the frame that came with the uh, picture frame. And I'm going to, now I can stick my stickers inside without, and I know, I know they're going to be where I want them to be now. So that little sticker there says, eat, drink, and be cozy the little cat, the little, I just used the pumpkins, not the jack-o'-lanterns, to go across the bottom. And then I decided to add this, it looks like a cup of pumpkin tea, or a pumpkin latte maybe. And I'm putting everything back together. This was so simple to do. And the way I did it, because nothing's glued inside, I can take it apart and reuse it. So now these metallic finished foam stickers are going to look awesome on the outside. So I'm putting these on the outside in front of the glass. So this is going to have like three different layers. So it's going to have in front of the glass, it's got the glass level, and then it's got the backing with the stickers on it. So it's, it looks like it has a lot of dimension. And I just play around with these leaves until I figure out what I want. And that's it. So there you have it. That's four super simple DIYs that you can do for fall. Like really, really super simple, I told you. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, go on over and do that now. And then you can come back and see how I actually finished decorating my coffee bar for the fall. I've kind of done a little bit of that, but I need to do my three-tiered tray. And I've got, found another box of fall things when I was unpacking. So I'm going to get that finished and I'll come to you next week with that all done. So yeah, it's fall. Fall is in the air. And um, yeah, so I hope everybody's staying safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.